welcome back to my channel. It's Christina at Homeschool and Grace. Today, um, I wanted to share with you a viewer comment that I had, or a question I should say. This was from Lydia Jenkins, and she asks, do you think you can use My Father's World First Grade if you're already using All About Reading uh, for reading? She'd like to use the biblical aspects, but they're already using All About Reading. And so, I gave her an answer on online, I wrote out one, but I thought it might be easier to actually just talk it out. I think that you can use All About Reading in My Father's World first grade curriculum to teach reading, but it's going to take a lot of work on your part as the mom to get it all ironed out. So I'm going to give a little backstory of why we used All About Reading and why we still use bits of it. Um, we don't use it as our full curriculum any longer, but we did at one point use it as our main reading curriculum. So back when my oldest daughter was in second grade, I realized that she was really struggling with reading. It was not coming easily for her, and I couldn't really figure out why that was. We had used um, My Father's World first grade, but before that, she had gone to public kindergarten. And so she learned in kindergarten sight words. And then I brought her, we brought her home in first grade to homeschool and she was learning then phonics based reading. And I think the poor thing got so confused <laughs> because it was two totally different ways of learning to read. And so there wasn't the fluent, the um, being fluent in this learning to read journey, it was very broken up. And so in second grade, I chose to pause what we were doing um, for My Father's World second grade and on. There's not really a specific reading program. You just use, uh, you just have them read aloud a book. They have book suggestions in the back. Um, they have book baskets they can read to you or uh, yeah, the suggestions in the back, but there's no actual reading curriculum. And I could tell she still needed a reading curriculum. She needed she needed help and I needed help to teach her because um, I had gone uh, to public school and I was taught sight words I didn't even know that an A can make four sounds and so I needed help too so on came all about reading so I got the first uh, level one for her in second grade and we just worked through this and then we did level two and worked through it the next year and then this year she's to level three and she's really I don't feel like needs it as much and so we're just using the reader books. This is for level one, but these books that come with it um, have still been a big help for her. So we still use these when needed or if she's just not into the mood to read a chapter book, I'll be like, oh, well, look, I have these books, so you can go read one of those. <laughs> so that's what we've been doing. So that is kind of our journey to learning to read for my oldest. Now my Second daughter, we started her out My Father's World right away in preschool. And so she has worked her way through it, uh, through kindergarten, and now she's to the first grade. And if you do a curriculum like that, where you stick with it, there is this um, flow to it. And so it, for her to learn to read using My Father's World, we have hardly had to use, I haven't used this at all, the teacher's manual for her, because she doesn't need it. But I still like to use parts of All About Reading for her uh, to learn to read. So she still reads the readers as well because I just feel like they're nice easy stories that are on grade level for her uh, for first grade. So she's been reading through these and um, that has worked well for her. Another part that I add into the first grade um, and I have shared this if you've seen any of my other videos I've shared it time and time again I think they're wonderful and especially if you've taught this these are really easy to then integrate into any reading program that you're using you just you know whatever words they're working on you just use them for these so these are called um, Ziggy Zebra games and these are created by All About Reading these come in a book and then you create them into the file folder games. And I can't remember, I think there's about 10 of them. 
and these have worked so well and I hope my plan is to use these for years and years to come. So that is the number one way that we use this with my father's world learning to read so if you get if you decide to use um, this first grade reading program you know let's say well we'll just go to the beginning you're working through letters okay well then you could use one of these to work on the letters and the sounds that they make or recognizing uppercase and lowercase you can I just take three by five cards and cut them in fours and then use those as our flashcards. You could use the flashcards that come with All About Reading. Um, there's yellow and green ones, especially if you get the whole kit and then just use their cards. I would just, you know, use them for the letter recognition. And then when you got to more words that they're working on, you can either make your own little flashcards, like I said, or you could look through the All About Reading flashcards and use those and integrate them together. So you can work on these and then you could look through to see if the words that they've learned from here are the words in here and then um, that will give them extra reading practice. Uh, for My Father's World first grade they do a lot of um, reading practice every day and that can get really tedious. Um, so I have really uh, use these to help with that reading practice or I've just said okay we're gonna read the story that has the words that we've used and do that I don't use the tiles anymore because they're kind of a pain <laughs> and I don't have a good place to store them for my oldest I would still use them because she really needed that more hands-on learning but my second did not need it so I don't use it so it, it you gotta know your kids learning style if you're going to try and merge it with another program. Another option is just, if you want just the Bible aspect of My Father's World, you could just add both of these in and have your child work through it. And they also have a Bible notebook that they could, um, you can have them work through and just draw the pictures of the stories that they read. And then uh, you would have that as a, kind of like a little memory for them as they get older. So that's another option. If you still want the Bible portion of My Father's World, but you don't want to um, do the whole reading program, especially if you're already so far into it, it may not be worth it to add it in. Not saying the Bible, but to add in the whole reading program. I always think it's good to teach kids Bible, so that's always a, you know, a good thing to add in. So Lydia, I hope that answered your question. I hope that made sense. I think that, you know, if you feel confident and can work them together, then go for it. I think that it would be totally doable and totally work, but it is gonna take prep on your part and how much do you wanna <laughs> prep this stuff? I am I tend to lean towards no prep or very little prep. And so I totally get not wanting to do that. Um, it, it is an option to do that. And I always say, the Ziggy Games, check out the Ziggy Games. They're so fun for the kids. Help them get excited about learning to read and they don't really realize that they're practicing their words when they're playing a game. At least for my kids, they get excited um, about it. So, uh, If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to have here, this is a playlist of all my uh, weekly updates so far that we've done this year and check those out if you haven't yet and then over here is how to make a timeline so we so many curriculums you got to make timelines for and so check this out and see how to make a timeline that's super cheap and super easy don't make it complicated just make the timeline so um i thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you at the next video all right bye bye